Ruth Turner here with Santa Fe standout, uh, Serenity Fosto, 18.04 uh, to win the final girls varsity race of an absolutely incredible day here, uh, day two at the 45th A6 Clovis Invitational. The, uh, the, the fact that, uh, that this is where you're at on October 12th and giving you so much inspiration and so much motivation for the second half of the season and wanting to be back here on November 30th. Tell me what's behind that smile, because you haven't stopped smiling since you came through the finish shoot. Oh, it's so fun. This is like the second time in like 10 years my school has gone into Clovis, so it's really nice to represent, and it only be my second year running. Like, I'm just so happy with the progress, and just want to glorify God with everything that I do, so it's really exciting. Serenity, uh, all, the, all the people around you, all in, in your support system, family, coaching staff, and whatnot, but, uh, but the fact uh, that you know uh, that the Lord has an even uh, bigger plan than you can ever aspire or, or dream to, like, especially in, in moments when it gets really hard out there, yeah, like definitely. Killer Hill and the final mile and whatnot, yeah. like, just you mm -hmm. trusting in, in the Lord and trusting in the process and whatnot, like, just, does that give you peace in tough moments like that? Yeah, definitely, like, on the line, I'm, I'm so nervous, but me and my teammates will pray, we'll just calm down, I'll just pray, talk to myself, know that he's with me, and it's gonna be okay. How, uh, how, how much uh, has just... The consistency of the uh, of the training and you know and the really promising performances, the uplifting performances that you've had in, in August and September, like what did that do just to kind of you know not only create excitement but you know but you know but, but create curiosity about like okay I'm doing really good things down in the, in Southern California how is that going to translate to the course that everybody wants to be famous on you know like how how good is that build up in August and September being to get you ready for today? I think it's really good. It, it gives me a lot of um, confidence within myself with what God has given me. So I just know to rely on that and He'll do it for me and it'll work out. When, uh, when you get from white ticket booth to asphalt to, uh, to grass and you still had so much left, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, you were you were running within yourself, you know, but uh, but you still look so strong. Like, uh, how encouraging is that? That like all that work that you put in, where only you know the Lord and maybe some teammates and the coach gets to see it. Like, then when everybody gets to see it out there today, like that you, you, you were still so strong at the end. Like, uh, how much did that mean to you? It means a lot. I, I don't even know. I, I know it's not me. It's, it's what's within me. So it really helps a lot to know that. Yeah, I'm strong, but it's, so it's within and the training. It all pays off. Most definitely. Obviously, I know you're going to go back to work. You know, continue uh, to, uh, uh, to train and you know and, and and trust in the process. But when you when you have a performance like today, not just you know that like I said that physical you know, affirmation and reassurance that things are doing you know right, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually, like you know, like how significant is a day like today just to kind of remind you that it's like hey, as, uh, as long as I keep trusting in the Lord and keep trusting in you know the coaches and the, and the training and stuff like that, like we're gonna have a lot more days where you get to smile like today and hold backpacks and hold. Yeah, it's definitely what I count on, what I look forward to, so it really just gives me a lot. This is what I want, I work hard for it, and it's what I really want to go after. I want to finish uh, where you mentioned early on, like the, the, this, the, this, you know, it, it takes a, a village to raise a, a champion and, you know, and, and a standout like you, and the fact that you're doing things for the Santa Fe program, you know, that have been, you know, achieved and, uh, and you know, magnified and recognized and respected very, very seldom in the, in the past decade. How, how empowering is that not only for the program presently, but hopefully you having the opportunity to inspire you know, young women and young men to be like, come be part of this because it's really special. Yeah, definitely. A lot of the people on my team are new, so I really just want to be someone that they can see. Like, she came from nowhere, just like, I played other sports, and then being able to come out and do this, I really just want to be like inspiration to people and show what I want to glorify, which is God and what he's done for me. Awesome. 1804, uh, would love to see her on the starting line November 30th uh, and take that far left column down to 17. Uh, but obviously some great opportunities uh, along the way. Got to go through a gauntlet at Mount Sac multiple times uh, to get there, but Serena DeFosto demonstrated that she is very much uh, re uh, ready to rise to the occasion uh, down in the southern section. Congratulations, stay healthy, best of luck. Thank you so much, luck. thank you.